Hi dear Leo, let's go ahead and take a beautiful deep breath in, raising our vibration. You ready? Well Leo, we're going to start off with the blocks that you have in your relationship life. And then we're going to go from there. Thank you so much, Divine Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, i got to tell you already that I'm seeing, I feel like some of you are finally able to release your exes. And um, I feel like some of you are separated through country and state. I feel like some of you are just like coming to that reality or the real realization, rather, that it's okay for you to move forward and enjoy romance with someone else. It's okay for you to enjoy intimacy Woo! with someone. I feel like that one, too. With someone else. I feel like you really understand that you can um, have the type of freedom in your love life that you really do, you've been dreaming for. And that battle, that war that was with your ex or the one that you're in relationship with now is that block. And you just really needed to let go of that energy from the past, from past pain, from lies that were told. From the toxicity of the connection that you two had. And just really know that you deserve to be loved. Pampered. Appreciated. Nourished. And once you use your own energy from the sun, that's your energy. You're able to really transform the connections that you have in your love life. And that affects your children no matter how old they are. It affects everyone else that loves you and your partner or your ex or your future um, spouse or partner. It really does just complement every other relationship that you have. So I feel like letting those chains go, letting the blocks go of how you used to do relationship and knowing that you can certainly manifest the type of bond that you really do desire to have is something that is going to be really heavy um, this month for you. And before I even ask Spirit to show you your animal spirit guide, I just want to tell you the energy of this month. I really feel like um, the stars are going to hit you pretty strongly coming into the month with that release of, I can let this go now. I can let the past go. I can let the toxic energy, I can let that go. I can let the fact that every battle is not mine. Every battle doesn't need to be won. I don't need to even say anything sometimes. And that also is... The release of, do I always have to run? Do I always have to take myself out of the situation? And I feel like there's this connection um, that is just a release for you. Um, I feel like your philosophy has totally changed. And you're coming into your a new, higher sense of self and uh, self-appreciation and worldly wisdom. And then the beginning of the, or the, the middle of the month, give or take 72 hours from the 16th, certainly thereafter, you are best served to really begin anew and to lay this really positive foundation in communicating the way that you are now thinking. Like your mindset, I feel, takes a shift. And you really see that, you know what, I just really got to nourish myself. I've got to look out for myself. And this communal living, I really feel, has everything to do with 
um, just being in your community, you know, your neighborhood, just getting out of your house and connecting with the different beautiful energies that are right next door to you and letting go of that toxic energy and just forming these alliances you know, being able to even have a garden, a community garden, being able to um, just connect. You might meet the love of your life right next door, but I feel like they're really close by. And I just feel like many of you are letting go of the toxic energy that you're living with. And quite frankly, some of you have already started making eye contact with neighbors. And I feel like you just know that you can manifest the type of love that you really are after. And I feel like some of you are getting nourished and loved on by other people in your in your community and in different ways also, you know, going um, just for your walk around the block and being able to see life in a different way and falling in love with that and realizing that you don't have to have that toxic battle um, with your spouse or your partner or um, you don't have to live in that secluded energy um, if you're single and by the end of the month I just feel so strongly that you come to this awareness this culmination of what status you really want out of relationship you know is it really marriage that you seek is it life partnership that you seek and Having that longevity, I do feel like legacy is a big deal this month for you. And, um, but I feel like, you know, you're just really putting in a lot of attention in your neighborhood. And so go for those walks and uh, certainly take your time to make any major decisions in your love life. <clears throat> Excuse me, Get some water here. But I feel like there's a lot of I digress happening. You can certainly manifest the type of love that you truly want and you don't have to settle. Wow. So cancer just had this energy and it's the one it's the sign before yours. So make sure you view. Uh, there's spiritual guidance as well. This is karma. It's going to happen with or without you. And this is your foundation. This is your family. This is behind closed doors. And um, this is your root chakra. And so this is a beautiful new beginning. This is meant because you've had to go through some life lessons here. And you've got to go through that burning stage in order to come out on top. Sometimes we have to suffer in order to reach our goal. And so one of your affirmations is, I have everything I need to survive and grow on the physical plane. And if we're not going through the tests and the trials, um, we're really not challenging ourselves. And spirit is going to test us in order for us to manifest the type of love that we want. And I feel like that is very much where you're at. And this is your other affirmation this month. I acknowledge my inner child and open my heart to the joy she brings. And so with 38, that's also going to 11, which is karma. Um, and this new foundation that's happening, this new mindset, this new philosophy, and everything coming full circle for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And so, Leo, this is a beautiful month of really changing how you view relationship and the one you're in or the ability to manifest the type of relationship you really want to be in okay so enjoy the dating whether you are redating your spouse your partner 
or whether you are single and you are manifesting the type of love life you want. Um, but dating can be frightening as new experiences bring new emotions. And listen to your intuition right now and enjoy the playfulness and the flirtation in dating because chemistry is certainly in the air. And so just as Spirit said earlier, you know, enjoy the flirts. <laughs> enjoy getting out in your community because you certainly deserve the type of love that you so desire to manifest. And Spirit wants you to be happy in your love life. If there's anything that I can do for you, I'm here for you. Please click the links down below. I look forward to speaking with you and reading for you very soon.